Welcome Pokemon Go Trainers, welcome back to my channel. So in this video I am going to feature Mandaverse and two Mud Boys which is Quagsire and Clothsire. So this team is basically very good in a jungle cup. Even in tough lead it works very well. So without further delay let's start the video and before that I would like to request to subscribe my channel for more such videos. So hopping the first match and first match Mandaverse vs Skarmory and I am going to farm up up to two Dark Pulse before throwing it. And he's going to farm up also I think 2 sky attack maybe or brave bird. He's going to go for it. This could be a brave bird or sky attack. He throws sky attack and good no shield. I'm going to go for my dark pulse. And this dark pulse will do good amount of damage. Let's see. Mandibus is very tanky. And now I can go for the 2 dark pulse back to back. But before that I have to respect the brave bird he might throw it. So this time he also goes for the sky attack and I have a back to back dark pulse loaded so I am going to throw it immediately. So this dark pulse might grab the shield and he shields here and another dark pulse I don't think he is going to shield because he can survive it from this health range. So going for the dark pulse this time I am not going to shield if even if he throws sky attack and I go for the aerial ace but I didn't reach my move so this sky attack might knock me out. Let's see, but I survive with 1 HP and I have a good bulky mandibus. So I'm going for the aerial ace. Let's see, this knocks out and he double shields. So now I'm going to generate energy on my quagsire and totally farming him down. Get a good amount of energy start. Let's see, and here comes the Whiskash. It's good that Whiskash is here because Clotsire is not going to appreciate the mud bombs and scalds. So I'm going to throw the aqua tail and this is the shadow one. This is not going to be a skull. This could be a mud bomb. I can take it. So I'm going to tank it. So going to generate back to back aqua tail but he tries to catch a move but he didn't successfully caught it. So I'm going to come with cloth sire and I can throw my earthquake which will get him very low. So I have to take this surf. Hopefully I can reach my earthquake before he reach next surf. And I throw the earthquake, this will get him very low. But I have to be very careful because Whiskash can farm me down. So I'm not going to shield any move from the lantern. And here I throw my stone age on the CMP. And this surf will get me very low. My switch timer is not up yet. So I think Whiskash is going to farm up a lot of energy. So I didn't fully charge the move but it was enough to knock out. Now my switch timer is going to up and I'm going to swap out and snipe him with the aqua tail. Hopefully this knocks out. If it is knocks out then we will secure our win. And yes it does. So good game we won this match. Let's hop into the next match. Let's see what the next opponent has for us. Mandibus vs Dawnfan very spicy lead. And I can win this if he doesn't shield. I have to just go for the dark pulse. So throwing my dark pulse which will be doing a good amount of damage so look at the damage it gets him in a yellow health and he reaches I think it's a body slam so I'm going to no shield here I can take it and Mandibus can take energy so this time I go for the aerial ace let's see if he shields here I think he might shield and he shields and now hopefully I can reach my another aerial ace I think he requires two more body slam to knock me out. Throws another one. And now I can reach my aerial ace but opponent throws his energy. That's fine. We are going to do the same thing. Come with the quagsire and farm up a lot of energy. But Donfin might be running the trailblaze. So just to be safe I am going to shield here and farm him down. And I shield. And I think he throws a body slam bait. But he's not going to reach another move. So I can just mud shot him down and generate a lot of energy and here comes a WMC caught. This is not good. I'm going to go for the stone age. Let's see if it does the damage. And he shields here. Now going to come with the cloth sire. As I'm running poison sting which is double super effective and here comes the vigorath. I can knock him out with stone age and one earthquake. So I'm going to go for the stone age and next earthquake will definitely knock out. Until and unless he is running bulldoze which is most of the Vigorath are avoiding it. And now I can let this go. This is body slam. I can take it. Going for the earthquake this will definitely knock out. 
and then I can just farm up up to Stone Age for the Swimsy Cod. Let's see. And he returns. He's going to throw the Grass Knot. This will do a good amount, even though it's resisted. And Grass Knot does a good amount, and it did almost took my health to red. And now I'm going to go for the Stone Age and. I will swap out into Quacksire and snipe him with the Aqua Tail. I'm just one mud shot away and this was a CMP. Definitely going to shield here. Because this Grass Knot will take out the family of Quacksire. And this Aqua Tail should be enough to knock out the Whimsy Cod. We can secure our win with the Mud Boys. So good game. Let's hop into the next match. Let's see what the next opponent has for us. Mandibus into Lantern. A very nightmare lead. So safe switching into Quacksire even though I am not running Mud Bomb but I don't think opponent knows this. So he is going to throw his energy. This is definitely a surf. I will take it and I am going to over farm a lot and he tries to catch. I think he comes with a Vigorath and he caught a Stone Age. It will do good amount of damage and I think more than half of the health is gone for the Vigorath. I go for the Aqua Tail immediately. This will do good amount. Let's see if he shields here. And he does. Now I am going to generate back to back aqua tail. But before that I have to shield this body slam. And I am going to throw one more mud shot. And then I will throw my aqua tail. Let's see if he shields here. If he double shields then definitely I am going to double shield. And he shields. And he is going to farm me down. Let's hope I can reach my aqua tail. That's very lucky for me. I was able to reach. And this aqua tail will definitely knock out. Now I have a good alignment. Which is cloth sire against this lantern. And now I can just throw one earthquake to knock this out from this health range. And this is going to be surf. I can take it. While throwing my charge move I have to be very careful. He might catch it on the last pokemon. So I am not throwing it immediately even though I generated earthquake. I am going to let this surf go through. No ID shielded here. So farm up and he catches the earthquake on the buzz wall but that's fine. What I am going to do is I am going to generate energy up to earthquake and then I will swap out into my mandibus because one aerial ace should be enough to knock out the buzz wall because it is bug and fighting typing which is double weak against the flying move and he throws lunges and I think here he will throw super power I am not going to fully bubble it. I just want to undercharge so that lantern doesn't get so much farm. So hopefully this super power gets me very low. And he is going to go for the super power. Now I can just farm him down. Opponent is purposely not charging up moves. So that's fine. I can throw the dark pulse. I have an earthquake loaded on the cloth sire. And even though I lose the CMP, it will require 2 surf to knock out the cloth sire from this health range. And I go for the earthquake. This will definitely secure our win. It's a good game. Hopefully you are enjoying this video. If you do, please don't forget to subscribe my channel. And let's hop into the next match. Again a tough lead. Charger Buck vs Mandibus going to do the same thing. Come with the cloth sire and he comes with the WMC Cot. This doesn't look winnable now. But... He reaches Grass Knot, I think, so I'm going to shield here. Actually, it was a Seed Bomb, so I'm going to go for the Stone Age. Let's see if he shields or he lets it go. And opponent decides to let it go and I can reach my Aqua Tail. This might pressure the shield and he has to shield if he wants to win a switch. So he shields here, now I'm not going to shield here i'm going to let this one go through this will knock out and later i can come with cloth sire just to farm him totally down just poison stings are doing lot seed bomb are not going to do that much damage so i'm going to take it so this seed bomb goes through and didn't do that much and i have loaded a lot of energy on the cloth sire let's see what the next pokemon is if charger bug comes up i will throw my stone age here comes the dragonite and now I am in a comfortable position. All I have to do is just throw the Stone Age. Even though he crashes on the Charger Bug. It's of no use. Because it will be super effective. And just to retain the health. I will shield this Dragon Claw. And even if he catches. It's not going to work for the opponent. 
and going for the stone age this will knock out the dragonite and charger bug doesn't have any move which can threaten me until and unless they are running crunch so old switches are resisted going for the stone age but i lose the cmp but this x caesar is not going to do that much and now i can just go for the stone age and later i can swap out into my mandibus and one dark pulse should be enough from this health range to knock out the charger bug even though in tough fleet we were able to flip the match so this how strong the team is in the jungle cup and he throws discharge but didn't do that much now opponent realized that there is no win con he just top left opening the next match sable eye dream lead so going to stay here and he swaps out into cloth sire i am going to come with my quack sire going to farm up up to back to back aqua tail i'm just one shot away from the next aqua tail going for the first aqua tail and this does a super effective and going for the second one this will get him into red health and later i can just farm him down let's see and i missed some bubbles that's why i didn't do that much so i think he goes for the earthquake this will do good amount and next move i am going to definitely shield and totally farming him down and this is the stone age i think so i am going to shield here otherwise it will knock out and yes it was a stone age and now i have a lot of energy i'll go for the double aqua tail instead of one stone age to do good amount of damage if sable eye returns and he returns with the sable eye now i have generated back to back aqua tail this will get him very low as sable eye is shadow and sable eye has very low defense and going for the second aqua tail this will put him in a red health this almost knocks out and now coming with the mandibus but here comes the abama snow core breaker so what i'm going to do is I'm just going for the two aerial ace grab the shield and later i can just come with cloth sire and he throws his energy this is weather ball going to take it and i'm just one snarl away from the next aerial ace and throwing the aerial ace immediately and this will grab the final shield once he shields i can come with cloth sire and i'm going to generate up to stone age i can take one move but i have to shield the second one and this weather ball is super effective does a half health damage and he reaches next but i have to be very careful he might catch the move on the sable eye so i'm going to wait a turn and he throws powder snow so i go for the stone age this will knock out and there is no win con for the sable eye so hopefully you have enjoyed this video if you do please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel for more such interesting team i'll be coming with more such teams and till the time take care trainers have a good day bye